everyone, Hope from the K. So today I'm gonna to be doing a current favorites video. I have got quite a lot of things that I wanna talk about and I realize that I haven't spoke about these things in a video, so I thought why not tell you about them today? And um, this is kind of a less scary video for me to film. I'm kind of easing myself back into YouTube. So um, yeah, I've kind of got a mixture of things. The majority of stuff is like beauty related. And then I've got like a list in front of me, which is why I keep looking down. I've also got a few kind of, I've got a TV highlight and also two favorite YouTubers as well that I want to mention too. So First of all, I'm gonna start off with some makeup and I'm gonna be talking about this Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. Now I got sent this as part of doing a sponsored video of Feel Unique and Maybelline back in January, February time. Um, might be, no, it might have been March actually. I can't remember, end of Feb I think. And I got sent this to use this as the foundation for the tutorial and I used it. But I have to say, I wasn't expecting to love it as much as what I did. And I have pretty much used this every single day since doing those videos. Um, so yeah, so I'm pretty much almost out of this now. Like I don't know if you can see, but it's basically empty. But I just really, really like this foundation. I feel like it makes my skin look as flawless and almost a little bit airbrushed, which is quite hard considering my skin looks like a sack of rubbish at the moment. So anything that makes it look any better than what it does is a winner. It's got a really nice finish to it, um, and it's obviously a drugstore one as well, so it's quite cheap too. So I have just been really, really impressed with it. It has been the foundation that I've been going to most days, as a lot of foundation has been going quite cakey on my skin, but um, not this one. I've got it on my skin today mixed with a YSL foundation. I really like the mix of them together, but I just really, really like this. I can't believe how much I like it. It was one of those ones that I kind of tried on and thought, oh, I'm not sure what this is going to be like, but really really like it and I will definitely be repurchasing because this has almost finished but yeah really 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 big fan of that one so next I want to talk about a highlighter now I could talk about highlighters till the cows come home but I'm only going to mention one today and this is the MUA undress your skin shimmer highlighter and this is in the color golden skillin skillintation I cannot get my tongue around that at all and um, but I tried this out in my trying out drugstore highlighters video which I will link down below for you and I have just used this again pretty much almost every day since this and Becca champagne pop have been like alongside each other but this, I just think this is such a good highlighter for three pound, was it three pound, three pound fifty? I think it was around, it was definitely under four pounds. And I just think that is amazing. As I've used it, it has started to get like a little bit, um, I don't know what the right word is, but it's kind of started to kind of form together on the top. But I've kind of read online that you can kind of get like a pin to kind of separate it, which will kind of bring it back out again. But I just think this is such a good highlighter for the price. And I think if you're looking for a cheap drugstore highlighter, then definitely check out the MUA highlighters. I can see why so many people rave about them. And although it's not as good as like my Becca Champagne Pop, I do think it's an amazing one for the money. So next on my list is a fake tan and I have almost used all of this fake tan. So I think this kind of shows how much I do like it. And I was sent this a little while ago. Um, it's by Sunkist, which is a brand that you can buy from Superdrug. And this is the Bronze Professional Moisturizer Spray Tan in Medium Dark. Now I've already wrote a absolute glowing post about this on my blog. So if you read my blog, you've probably already seen me raving about this. But this fat, like fake tan is just one of the best fake tans I've used in a while. I've been trying to try out lots of different fake tans recently because I have never done a big fake tan video or post before. And considering I fake tan like twice a week and I have been doing for about 10 years, I thought maybe it was time to actually do one big post about how I apply tan, though maybe I'm not the best person because I constantly look orange, but whatever. And um, how I, oh my goodness, I'm just throwing stuff. So yeah, how I apply tan, my favorite fake tans, um, because I would like to do like a huge guide. So I've been trying out lots of different ones and I got sent this one and again, I wasn't kind of, I didn't know what to expect. Like I always try out these tans, I'm never sure what they're gonna be like, but this is 
amazing. So why I like it is because first of all, it's a moisturizing spray tan. So there is pros and cons to this. So it comes out like a white moisturizing spray, which you then rub into your body. The pro is that it's not very messy. Let me just rearrange myself on my chair. So yeah, so it's not very messy. It's um, kind of goes on very easily and sinks into the skin just like moisturiser would, which I really, really like. The con is that you can't see where you're going. There's no guide colour, meaning you can't tell if you've missed out a part. So you kind of just have to rub it in everywhere and kind of hope for the best. But because there is no guide colour, it means that there's no uh, colour... Uh, like wash off if that makes sense. So for example, this won't stain your bed sheets, it won't stain your clothes, which I think is amazing because I like having white bed sheets on the bed, which is not good when you're a fake tanner. And I have got a separate duvet that I will pop on the bed when I'm fake tanning, which is dark. But the fact that I can put this on and not have to worry about changing the bed or putting this on and like not having to worry about it coming onto your clothes, I think is amazing. It gives a really nice dark colour. I've got it on right now and you literally only need like one coat to get quite a medium tan, which I think is really, really impressive. Um, I kind of put this on, I put like one coat on uh, one day and then a couple of days later I'll put on another coat and it kind of just brings it up to quite a nice dark tan. But I think it looks really natural. I think it's quite a natural olive tan. I think it looks quite natural in real life. And also it doesn't fade. So I feel like when I wear this, I stay quite tan for quite a good few days because there's nothing worse than putting on a fake tan. And like as much as I like Bondi Sands, I find that that fades within a couple of days and within a couple of days I already feel pale. So yes, I'm almost out of this. I think this is 9.99. It was on offer last weekend for like 6.99, but I'm not sure if it still is. Whilst we're talking about fake tan, I wanna talk about something that's slightly changed my life. And this is gonna look pretty skanky, but I kind of didn't really know how to show it not looking skanky, but this is a back tanning mitt. Now this is from the company Model Co, are they called Model Company? Um, I think they're sold in like Boots and online. I will probably, maybe Superdrug as well actually. I'll link it all down below though, so you can find out where they are stocked. And they sent me some of their new fake tan and this back tanner, and oh my God literally changed my life. So basically, if you fake tan, you will know the struggle of fake tan on your own back. And something that Henry will never ever do for me is tan my back. No matter how much I ask him, he just won't do it for me. So I always have to like awkwardly get myself like try and get in a position to do it. I always miss out a big patch of my back. And there's been so many times that I've gone to like a gym class, look to see I'm wearing a vest and notice there's like a massive white patch. And I'm just like, oh my God. So there's, it's like super embarrassing, but there's kind of no other way to do it. However, this back mitt just changed my life because you obviously can now apply mitts, like fake tan to your back. So what I do is I put kind of tan all along it and then I kind of take it behind my back. I'm trying to not like, in case there's any tan on it. I just kind of go up and down my back like this and then you can kind of thingy it round like this. So you kind of get all in the middle and yeah. It's amazing, it means that my back is completely tanned. I don't have to worry about wearing a vest and there being a big white patch. So yeah, so if you, like me, have a boyfriend or partner who won't help you out with fake tan in your back, or you live on your own maybe, then definitely get one of these because it will change your life. And I know that sounds dramatic, but other fake tanners will know exactly where I'm coming from. So the other thing I wanna talk about is my hair rollers, but I'm not gonna lift them up because they're like down here and they're still plugged in. To be honest with you, I just can't really be bothered to get over there and unplug them. So I'll maybe like insert like a picture of them here. So they're the Babyliss Fermo Ceramic Rollers. And I bought them last month. Basically my old rollers, which were the Remington Silk Rollers, they just died one day. They just completely fused the whole house and I was just like, what on earth? And I thought it was just maybe like a one-off. And then it happened again and I just thought something is not right here. I decided it wasn't worth it anymore. And I was like, do you know what? I've got so many hair tools. Maybe I don't need any rollers. And for about two to three months, I've not had any rollers but I missed my rollers so much. I found that just curling my hair with my tongs just took too long and I just missed having rollers in my life. So as soon as I kind of got uh, like some money in, 
I went online, did some research, and the Babyliss rollers seemed very similar to the Remington ones, and they also weren't very expensive, so I was like, right, I am ordering those bad boys. I got them from Amazon for £26. You can get them from like Argos, Boots, Superdrug, literally wherever, but Amazon had them for £26, and I could get them on Prime, because I was like, I need these in my life. And I'm just so impressed with them. Like, I feel like they give you more of like a voluminous look rather than like a curly look like my other ones did. I kind of feel like my hair looks like it's been like blow dried rather than like curled, if that makes sense. But I kind of like that look. I just feel like it, it gives my hair quite a lot of volume and it's just something that I'm not able to recreate with like hair tongs or straighteners myself. So, I'm just really impressed with them. I think they were such good value. They make your hair look a little bit like Kate Middleton's. So what is not to like? So I think if you're looking for some hair rollers yourself, I definitely would recommend investing in them. There's enough rollers to go around. Like if they can all go in my hair, I'm sure they can go in your hair too. They do take a little while to heat up, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but apart from that, I'm pretty impressed with them and I'm kind of glad that I went for them. And I'm glad that I've got rollers back in my life. Like who knew that I would miss heated rollers so much, but I did. Next up, I wanna talk about some fragrances. And again, if you read my blog, you'll have already seen me raving about these. And this is the Body Fantasies fragrances. And recently they have been brought into the UK and they only used to have like a few different scents. However, over the past couple of months, they brought out some new scents and I'm so happy because my favorite scent, Vanilla, has been brought to the UK and I literally could not be happier. So Body Fantasies, if you've not heard of them, they're basically like body fragrances. They are in America in like drugstores and that's where I first found them is when I went to America and every single time I've gone to America I've had to go get a new flavour because I'm obsessed with them. I just think they're really easy to pop on, they're great if you're going to the gym, you can use them in your handbag, they're great for when you don't want to carry around a perfume with you. Um, so yeah, so I think they're great and they're very affordable too. So when they came to the UK I was literally like, yes! And I was so excited, but I was kind of hoping they'd bring out my favourite flavours, and they have. So I just wanted to kind of give them a mention because I love them. I love the vanilla scent. I think you will either love this or hate this. It's very synthetic. It's very, very sweet. But I love really, really sweet smells, so I'm all over it. But I don't know if kind of everyone will love it. If you kind of like sweet smells like me, you probably will do. But the other half of you might be like, no, it's not for me. But they've also brought it out in like a handbag size. So it's so, so cute. So I can take it in like my gym bag, my handbag. I can take it when I go away, which I just think is absolutely amazing. And they're like, I think the little handbag one is like 3 99 I think. And then the big version like this is 8 99 which I think is really good value. And yeah. I love them. Next up I want to talk about this hairbrush and it's probably looking a little bit skanky but this is because I use it and whose hairbrush looks immaculate like tell me that. So this is the wet brush and I started using this back in January February time and it's I know like dramatic again but it has changed my life. I've always hated having my hair brushed. I think it kind of goes back to when um, I was a child and my mum would really roughly brush my hair and it was just awful. Just not a fun experience. And ever since I've never liked brushing my hair. So I've always kind of struggled um, when it comes to hair brushes and finding one that doesn't kind of tug or make it really, really painful. And a lot of the time I find that hair brushes can be pretty rubbish. However, this one is so good. It brushes through your hair so easily. It gets through knots really, really easily, but it doesn't hurt, which is amazing. So yeah, so if you kind of hate brushing your hair like me and you've got quite long, thick hair, Definitely get yourself a wet brush. Okay, so my camera is flashing the battery sign at me, so I'm gonna try and get through the next few things pretty quickly. So next I have a TV and two YouTuber favorites. I think I've gone through all my beauty favorites. So my TV favorite is probably no surprise if you follow me on Twitter or read my blog, and that is Riverdale. And as I say this, the season finale has gone up today, which I'm gonna be so sad about because literally it's the highlight of my week because I'm a saddo. But basically, if you don't watch it, if you like PLL, you will love this. It's kind of like Pretty Little Lies. It's a little bit like Gossip Girl. It's kind of like those kind of teen dramas all kind of rolled into one. And it's all based around a small town and someone gets murdered and then it's kind of like, who did it? It's based on the Archie comics. And yeah, everyone's very beautiful. There's great color grading on it and it's very easy to sit and watch. So yeah, so 
definitely recommend that if you haven't watched it already. It's on Netflix. And then two YouTuber recommendations, trying to get through these really quickly because my battery thing is flashing really angry. So first of all is Sarah Ashcroft. I'm literally obsessed with her at the moment. I've got such a girl crush on her and I've been loving her YouTube videos. I've been loving her travel vlogs. Her Coachella and LA vlog was amazing. She puts in so much effort to her lookbooks. I think it's insane. Um, I can't wait for her festival lookbook. She like basically made like a whole festival as like a backdrop for it, which I just think is so, so creative. And yeah, she's a huge babe and she's very down to earth and I love seeing her makeup tutorials and her hair tutorials and kind of seeing how she looks so flawless. So yeah, love her. And then also I wanna uh, talk about Sophia and Chintzia. I think I've said her name right, I'm so rubbish with names. So basically they are two friends and they are just a breath of fresh air. I feel like YouTube is very kind of polished and perfected these days and it's so nice to watch really relaxed chatty videos and they do them so well so they're kind of speciality they do very long get ready with me when they're going out or kind of day to day they also do like vlogs and the two of them are hilarious like they literally should have their own tv show and it's just so easy to like watch like I kind of put them on whilst I'm doing my makeup or I kind of put them on in the background I just find them very easy to watch and they kind of make me feel like I'm with them if that makes sense but they are hilarious they always have amazing highlighter and I think if you kind of quite like long chatty videos then you will love these girls. So I'll link both of those recommendations down below and um, let me know if you've got any favorite YouTubers at the moment because I kind of feel like I wanna watch them like new people. So just let me know because I love finding new people to watch. Okay, so I am gonna go now before my battery dies on me. Um, I've kind of given myself a sore throat from talking so much, but um, I really hope you've enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and to also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, hopefully I should be back a little bit more often with videos. I have got quite a few planned and up my sleeve. So fingers crossed videos will be back to being a bit more regular. And um, yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna go now and start waffling on. I will see you all very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching.